Hello and a very warm welcome. I'm Ruchi Sharma. We have got you all the latest news and updates from the blockchain technology world. CryptoWire, a crypto super app, which also includes the channel Crypto TV, has launched India's first index of cryptocurrencies, IC15. The IC15 index is aimed at helping investors track the performance of top 15 widely traded liquid cryptocurrencies listed on leading crypto exchanges across the globe. To track the IC15 index and its constituents, download the CryptoWire app from the Play Store. And now let's take a look at the headlines. NYSC patent filings reveal plans of digital currency NFT marketplace. Elon Musk hints Doge may be used as payment at Tesla charging stations. Bitcoin and altcoins slip amid Russia-Ukraine uncertainty. US lawmaker introduces bill to protect privacy in crypto transaction. OpenSea smart contract upgrade to delist inactive NFTs on Ethereum. Russia passes law to seize illegal crypto holdings of government officials. After Sunday swap, Cardano to launch another DEX in February. Terra Union to offer credit checks for blockchain lenders. SEC chief says approval on spot Bitcoin ETF only after ensuring safety. The world's largest stock exchange is mulling, adding facilities to trade in digital currencies and non-fungible token marketplace from its existing platform or through a new unit. The New York Stock Exchange has filed a number of patents to expand into digital assets and metaverse, though it says it has no immediate plans to make any move into Bitcoin. The Intercontinental Exchange-owned exchange in its patent filings on February 10, which was made public, applied to register NYSE for goods and or services that it may create and offer which relate to digital assets, tokens, NFTs and metaverse-related technologies such as augmented reality. The NYSE also filed for the provision of an online marketplace for buyers, sellers and traders of downloadable digital goods authenticated by non-fungible tokens. This marketplace would also encompass virtual and digital assets, artwork, collectibles and more. In a recent tweet, Tesla CEO Elon Musk shared his vision that in the future, Tesla charging stations will be able to accept Dogecoin as payment. Senti billionaire Musk was responding to a tweet by Ryan Zuhari, founder of Tesla Console, who tagged this billionaire in his post about Tesla charging stations that have been recently opened in Santa Monica. Zuhari tweeted that these stations were full as soon as they opened and posted a photo to confirm his statement. Musk responded that Tesla plans to also open a futuristic dinner drive in theatre in the Hollywood area. The tweet from Musk was welcomed by the Doge community regarding the future of world's largest meme coin. Doge was recently seen at 0.1412, up 0.2% in the past 24 hours, especially when the cryptocurrency market was in a sea of red. Cryptocurrencies were in a sea of red Saturday with Bitcoin dropping below $40,000 as traders continued to shun risk assets including digital and stocks amid escalating tensions between Russia and Ukraine. US President Joe Biden said Friday he is convinced that Russia leader Vladimir Putin has decided to invade Ukraine in the coming days. Meanwhile, Russia denies any plans to invade Ukraine and described global concern as hysteria. Bitcoin was down 1.4% over the past 24 hours and was trading at $39,916. The currency initially dipped below $40,000 on Friday, the first time in two weeks. Meanwhile, alternative cryptocurrencies such as Ether and Solana declined over 5% over the past 24 hours. Cryptocurrency market cap fell nearly 3% in the past 24 hours to $1.79 trillion. The asset class has seen its market cap falling by over $160 billion this week as investors fretted over escalating Russia-Ukraine conflict. Warren Davidson, district congressman from the American state of Ohio, has introduced the legislation entitled Keep Your Coins Act to protect Bitcoin and crypto investors from overreaching legislative action. 
The proposed legislation is designed to preserve Americans' right to privacy in transacting with crypto assets, said the congressman, and he added that this legislation would prohibit any federal agency from promulgating a rule that would impair a person's ability to act as self-custodian. This bill comes after Canadian authorities seized 34 crypto wallets tied to trucker Freedom Convoy and froze millions in cash donated to the ongoing protest over COVID-19 policies. Moreover, Canada doubled down in its crackdown and announced that under its Emergency Act, banks can freeze or suspend bank accounts without a court order and be protected from civil liability. The KYC acronym for the proposed legislation is a direct play on Know Your Customer Banking Laws, which Davidson has criticized for giving so much private information to the government. OpenSea, the largest marketplace for non-fungible tokens, has released an upgrade to its smart contract. The upgrade will remove inactive listings on the platform. As part of the upgrade, users on OpenSea will migrate their NFTs to the new smart contract. During this phase, OpenSea will not charge gas fees for NFT migration but will invalidate the old Ethereum-based smart contracts, effectively expiring the old offers according to the OpenSea announcement. The NFT listing created before Feb 18 will automatically expire within a week by Feb 25 by 2 p.m. ET. This upgrade comes at a critical time for the NFT marketplace whose users recently suffered an exploit on inactive listings. While OpenSea has since reimbursed the affected users, it has stirred debate about the security of the marketplace. The State Duma of Russia, the lower house of parliament, has passed a law permitting law enforcement authorities to seek confiscation of illegal obtained funds from government officials, including cryptocurrency. According to the new law, government officials who possess financial assets, including digital coins, exceeding their declared income from the last three years, risk losing them to the state. The law permits law enforcement to request their seizure through the judiciary. The new law comes after, in August of last year, President Vladimir Putin ordered the federal government to check officials with crypto holdings. He tasked several ministries and the central bank to prepare to verify information about the digital assets of government employees provided with their mandatory income declarations. The new provisions should come into force 10 days after the official publications of the law. Input Output Hong Kong, the crypto company behind Cardano, in a series of tweets hinted the launch of the first public version of its Cardano decentralized exchange named OCAMX in February on Milkomeda Mainnet. The OCAMX DEX will allow users to earn swap and provide liquidity to a large number of Cardano native tokens available on the market. Along with the DEX, a native token called OCX will also be launched, which is going to serve as the incentive unit powering an ecosystem agent interaction. However, of the 100 million OCX in circulation, only 30% will be released to the community with 50% set aside for future use and the remaining 20% is planned to remain with the OCAM team. The first DEX launched on Cardano, Sunday Swap has managed to rise by 185% since its launch last month and currently holding $124.5 million in total value. That's all in the bulletin for now. Do like, share and subscribe to Crypto TV. This is Ruchi Sharma signing off. Keep watching Crypto TV.